right, so this is the Gen 2 Tesla charger and uh, it goes for about $500. Uh, fortunately, I got it from uh, Bargain Hunt for only like $270. Uh, so I'll look there if you're in the Memphis area. Uh, you get a low profile bracket and this is what you're going to be using if you want to do rear entry or bottom entry, I believe. Uh, what I mean by that, I'll get to a little later. Uh, you get a bunch of screws. Uh, you're not going to use every single one of them. It just depends on whether you go rear entry, bottom entry, or top entry. Uh, you'll get a bunch of this um, uh, covers, and that's actually these are actually rated to be uh, available outside. Uh, it can't take a lot of water, but it is is designed for to be weather sealed. Uh, this is actually a bracket um, for top entry or bottom entry. Um, this is really great to use if you're going to do a daisy chain and if you're going to do two Tesla chargers right next to each other. I don't need this. So I'm actually not even going to use this at all. So what confused me when I first got it is I thought you have to use everything. So it just depends on how you want to charge it and it's just how you want it installed. So uh, if you're like me, you may not need this at all. So this is pretty much everything that comes with in, in the box. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, and then we'll get to the electrical part. Um, one thing that I need to explain before you get your electrician out to do it is uh, I will go to this website and I'll put the link above. Um, but if you go down, it'll actually tell you what you need for your model. So I have a Model 3. So I could actually get up to 44 miles per hour or miles range per hour of charge. So I'm going to go with a 60 amps and then I'll get 40 amps of maximum output. Uh, so just make sure that you tell your electrician what amps of circuit breaker you need so that they bring the right um, breaker. Uh, the next thing is you're probably wondering, why do I need this um, Tesla charging Gen 2, which costs $500 uh, when it already comes with a charger? Um, whether you get this or not, you still actually need an electrician out most likely to get it installed. And if you have a Gen 2 mobile connector, which comes with your car, you still need a NEMA outlet. Uh, but 1450 is probably what you want to get. I believe on a 1450, you get roughly about 30 miles, um, which is not that bad at all. So honestly, if you're doing, if you're just charging at night uh, and just letting it charge throughout uh, for eight, nine hours, you'll be totally fine with 30 an hour. In 10 hours time, it'll get fully charged. Uh, but uh, the reason why I went with the wall connector uh, was because I found the wall connector very cheap. I found that a bargain for roughly $270. Um, so I got really lucky with that and I decided to go that through that route. Uh, regardless though, the process is very simple. Uh, it's really the same thing. It's just a difference of what kind of breaker you use and what kind of wires you need so that it meets the code. So when you actually click on the second gen, the manual is available. I had to read it a few times. I'm not an electrician, so it was a little bit confusing for me. Uh, there was a lot of things that went definitely went over my head, but I understood some of the things like this stuff. I had no clue what it really meant. Uh, but one thing that you want to keep in mind is um, you want to set your um, output correctly on your Tesla charger uh, before the electrician comes and sets it up. So you want to do this yourself, and this is fairly easy. So I'm getting a 240 volt or less. So it's gonna be one needs to be down and two needs to be up. It was already set to that, so I didn't have to change it. And then on the right of that, there's a very, very small dial. You just need to get a driver and put it at the right uh, right number or letter. Um, if you look down right here, I'm trying to get 60 amps to get 48 amps on my Model 3. And it says I need to be at number nine. It's the last one. So just, you know, just go all the way and you'll feel a little click. It's a very light click, but just keep that in mind. So that's all you have to do before the electrician gets out and starts setting it up. And uh, let's see what, what he can do for us. The first thing you want to do is you want to drill a hole um, through your drywall and also through your stud. Uh, you want to do that so you could actually have a hole so you could run your cable all the way through to the breaker. Um, the reason why it's right there by the stud is because you want to mount your bracket right where the stud is. That way it will be very, uh, you really don't want to mount it just on drywall even though you, you can have an anchor. Uh, and then you need to get to the, the, the breaker and then you just pull it out and you definitely want to fasten it. 
and then after that you want to strip it and when you strip it you're really going to get four lines uh, one of two of them is power one of them is neutral and one of them is ground but you want to square away the ground and the neutral right away that's the first thing you want to do um, so you're going to have a bunch of slots where you could do that and then you can mount the bracket finally and then you can mount the actual charging dock and this is a little tricky but remember i'm doing rear entry so there's actually two holes and you could choose based on how you installed it and then you could finally mount the two wires uh, the black and red it doesn't really matter where it goes to uh, just loosen up the screw it's going to be quite tight in the beginning so just do that for all of them for the red and then also for the black the last thing you want to do is get the the neutral wire so he said that it's best to to ground that and then for the ground wire just kind of tuck it away uh, right next to it over there next we're going to actually set up the the breaker and then just it's really the same process you loosen it up and you put your wires through in and then you just tighten it away Sweet, I think it's charging. Yep, it's charging, it's working perfectly fine.